Hi. Today I want to show you how use function refines a set marker in tracking scene in exactly the same spot as the first original frame. First open video clip. I will use movie from Star Wars Part 4. Now try prefetch it. Depending on settings, is good to adjust memory cache to fit whole sequence in memory. Now we are ready to track an object which we want. For tracking object, is good to create separate tracking points and tracking settings. This will help us separate objects which are moving separately in 3D space. Okay. Now we should choose from which frame object is getting visible, and from this point we will start tracking. In tracking settings I will change search pattern to location scale, because our object is moving away from camera and in 2D space object looks like is making smaller and smaller. Also I chose option normalize, and in extra settings, I will adjust correlation pattern and frame limit. Frame limit is important because we can fix problems when marker will shift from original place. And it will help us fix that in easy way. It's like doing it step by step. Now we are ready to place markers in places where is the best contrast. I chose Rackets engines, they have nice bright lights. There is two ways to place markers. One is click on add marker, and second is shortcut alt and right click. I want mention also that we can shape first marker how we want, and copy that shape for next markers. It's save a lot of time. Now select all markers with shortcut AA, and track it. Like you see, not all markers was tracking properly. That's why I set frame limit between 10 and 20. In situations like now, is very helpful to fix problems and try track it one more time. I set speed of tracking to lower value, I like to see how trackers are behave. Sometimes we can find see when trackers are shifting from original position and stop tracking manually to correct wrong marker. Like you see, I have first problems of shifted trackers. Now I have ability to find mistake and correct them. Most problems of shifted markers are caused by search area. That search area has see many similar patterns and is confusing which one to choose. Adjusting search area to reasonable size helps markers in correcting tracking. Now I will show how looks tracking in graph editor. How trackers are behaving in 2D space. It's also another reason why I am showing graph editor. In that scene is few frames what are impossible to track. It's great example to present little trick I recently discovered. That trick is allowing to track whole scene with frames where tracked patterns are not visible on movie clip. Now we come to place where object which we are tracking is not visible, that situation can cause many problems, but with this trick, when we will create mesh in 3D space, will be not affected by missing frames, and Blender will create few points for smooth animation even if we don't have all tracked frames. That trick is about cleaning path from tracking after bad frames. I think that all markers should be cleaned in exactly the same place. When we will leave some markers to track further frames, Whole object motion solve will be distorted, and that distort pattern will be visible in 3D space. From my experience, and tests, is better to remove tracked path with all markers. That way Blender will know that movement of all trackers should be the same. Explanation for that choice is because our object is already small, and when we live two or three markers, they will be stretched because of only a few pixels, and Blender will think that he should move also markers who are not enabled, and whole solve no be act will be distorted. I am using also function refine. 
This function is very helpful when we want set markers after few empty frames back to original tracking pattern. This function will increase accuracy in placing on correct spot. Visually we are not able to place marker by hand, and that also can distort our solving object. Refine have in memory original tracked pattern and will set for us marker in place, and will also adjust size of marker. Like you see, in graph editor we have empty space. And I am starting tracking after skipping two bad frames. Now I will adjust one more time search area and make them smaller. I don't know why search area is not changing size with tracking pattern, maybe someone from you figure out that already. Will be nice to explain why I have that issue. Meanwhile I must do it manually. Tracking is consuming time, but when is properly made, in future will eliminate many problems. Now I will try adjust the speed of that movie, that you watchers will be not so much bored. Now I get to moment when I think that I should stop tracking, and solve that object. In panel with marker settings, I switch on also 3D points, they will show how much correctly was solved our object. Like you see, my average error is below 0.3. That error means very good tracking. And we can go to the next step. Before we will switch to 3D view, I want check one more time my object how was solved. If you want set manually solve keyframe, is the best to do between 41 and 140. On graph editor you see while. This is z-axis created by solving markers from x and y. In theory z-axis is that object which is moving away from camera. And I am enough satisfied with that. In 3D space, when we will place camera in different direction, z-axis will represent y-axis. z-axis is a local direction of camera. And solved object will be based at local direction of our camera. Now I will switch button from geometry, 3D markers to mesh. That will create only points representing our object. But don't try to play our animation, before that we need sign our created mesh with constraint, object solver.
For OBX choose Starship 1, and for camera choose our camera. Now you can play animation to see how in camera view our 3D points are matched with movie clip. If you do everything correctly, you should have similar result. I will show you also how object is moving behind camera, this is awesome future, especially that we was not able to track so far. And our OBF is starting from position where in camera view is not visible. Like you see, we have little distortion at beginning, this is because Blender was trying to figure out how object will move. This is distortion what I was talking before, the first few markers was distorted because of pixels in movie clip, and Blender assume, that his moving pattern should be that way. That's why I also was mentioning about Z-axis in graph editor. At beginning you will notice that in my solved object is moving faster, and Z-axis is higher. This is possible to fix, but I will not do that in this lesson. My point was to show how to use refine option for correcting markers when we have moved them to new position. When we want to attach new object to our solved object, is nice to first build some faces from the 3D points. This will make for us easier to find position. Notice also that created mesh is so small. I think that we don't have too much ability to correct that issue. When we will try scale that markers, and then play animation, object will not behave exactly like on movie clip. I hope that someone have solution for that, meanwhile, better as render objects apart, and composite them later. Rather try add two different object in this same scene. I use camera and shortcut period, to zoom. Here is excellent example that Blender and animation figure out how our created object should move when we have missing some frames. Now I will create my new mesh object and I will set it to position where I want. Is good to set first position of camera. Later our new mesh will be easier to move in 3D space and in placing to correct Scott. Thank you for watching, and hopefully see you soon.